I'm here with my besties, uh, Hithlodeus, Emmet, Selk, and Vana. Um... Oh, I thought you meant me. <laughs> uh, these guys I'm gonna go stand this. there just so I can be part of that group. So anyway, birds. Yep. I'm a healer. I'll be ready for Catesis Hyperborea. Uh, I mean, after yeah. you summarize 45 minutes of plot. I mean... You're not gonna I'll have the time in the dungeon. Game. I'll have to fucking try. Alright, ready? I guess so. Okay, not an instant cue yet. Okay, so, uh, basically, uh, following Vana's party, we tried to figure out what was the source of people turning into blasphemies. Um, we, like, went around to various places in, uh, was it, Thavnet, to try to stop this. There was a, a town called Palika Stand that was attacked. We went to go help. It was really fucking harrowing and depressing. There was, like, a whole part where we were chasing after a couple. Nope, there's no time um, for this. The, the dad died. The fucking mother got attacked by a thing and, like, fell into the some pool with her baby. We went to go try to save them. She died, but the baby lived. It was, like, depressing. We had to find a place for the baby to be looked after. Basically, like, we we didn't have enough info. We knew it had something to do with what they called um, Akasha in Thavna, which is a different type of energy from Aether that is sensitive to people's emotions and, like, yeah, adapts based on that. And the flower um, that we were, we found at the uh, fucking... What's the place? Labyrinthos is, like, made of it. Why am I set on Alliance raid? Um... The <laughs> the guy uh, in charge of Thavna, I don't remember his fucking name, unfortunately. The guy who was not actually the dragon, but like, you know, the, the dragon was a real guy in charge, but it was this other guy. Ahewan was his name? I don't remember his title. Sawtrap, that's it. Um, he died protecting uh, some people. Uh, I gotta keep the he dead now. tank alive. Um, uh, and... At his request, um, the dragon uh, Reacher re revealed himself as basically the real saw trap, and that was all basically, you know, resolved. Um, but shit's bad, and we're trying to figure out what to do. And uh, eventually, I don't remember what exactly the impetus was this, but basically, Garaha was like, Let "You should go to." Um oh no, we did find out something, which was like. The first dude that, um, I mean, they fucking, these two spoiled this in the previous video for me, but, um, the, like, the original, uh, Blasphemy in Thavna was a guy whose business deal fell through. It wasn't a job interview, it was, it was, he had a job, he was trying to sell some shit because the economy was bad after the Tower of Zot shit, but, anyway. Um, the deal fell through, and, uh, basically there was no, it was nothing personal, no hard feelings involved, but it's just things at the time was, were tough for everybody, and he had like a mental breakdown and turned into a monster, and then, you know, it went from there, because everyone else got freaked out seeing a guy turn into a monster, and turned into monsters themselves. Um, and so, we're all just trying to figure out what the hell's going on, and Garaha's like, why don't you go to the Crystarium? Uh, because Elidibus is still technically there, like, trapped inside the, like, his ether is trapped inside the system, and you might be able to use it to like power something i don't remember again i don't remember exactly what the deal was with that um this guy's gonna die uh i don't know what to do let me try this okay. that's a warrior he'll be fine uh long story short we ended up going back in time i'm sorry if i'm forgetting any details here and we met uh Hithlodeus and emmet selg um Hithlodeus being the uh, new old friend guy um from Amarat, and at first they're just kind of like, oh, you're probably like Azem's familiar or something. You you have a similar colored soul to Azem, but you're it's much smaller, so you're probably like a familiar or something. And we're like, yeah, we'll go with that. Um, eventually, though, after like getting a sense of the place and what it was, uh, it, it was specifically Elpis, which was like a facility for creating and testing new animals, basically, um, because... Uh, Never remember what the fucking shield is. Okay, you need to heal badly. What is my shield? Is it divine medicine? Yes. Okay, I'll. God, it's hard to fucking summarize this. We met uh, this guy called. We're Hermes. gonna need to go behind the one of these holes where his footprints end up. Okay. I'm glad you remember this shit. Um. I ran this a lot. I haven't run it in a long time, but I ran it a lot because I wanted the weapons from it. Mm. The weapons are cool. 
I think I have run this once. So, this dude called Hermes, who was the overseer, overseer of the facility, and he was walking around with this little girl called Meteon, who he created, uh, apparently out of Dynamis, which made her an Entelechy, which is basically just this game's word for an empath. Um, and, uh, because our ether was thin, she was able to more easily sort of communicate with us. Um, and, uh, okay, uh, this. Use this maybe. Um, we crush that. Um, we we're trying to figure out like what might have caused the final days, and we eventually meet up with Banar, and she is immediately like, "I sense my magic on you, but I've never met you before." The most logical conclusion is that I did this in the future, and you're a time traveler. And we're like, uh, "Yes, you're exactly right." And she's like, uh, "Awesome, that's really cool and interesting. Um, I want to find out more about you." So we hung out a bit, uh, and then while investigating and trying to figure out what the deal was with Hermes and Meteon because they seem to be connected because of this whole Dynamis thing. Um, there was a really fucking annoying part where uh, we had to go to some island and when I was like, you can't fly, right? And we're like, no. And she's like, well, okay, well, uh, that's fine. You can just ride my dog, Argos, which is the same dog that we rode on the moon. But he was like, mm, new people, I don't know. And then she's like, <laughs> well, the easiest way to solve this would be to... Um, to fight me, to prove that you're, like, cool and strong, like me. And then we did, and it was the worst fucking solo duty I've ever played in my entire life. Yeah, it was um, pretty bad. It was really bad. It was the only one I've ever had to cheat on by going on very easy mode. Um, I didn't, to be fair, I didn't try a uh, regular easy mode. I just, I, I tried the hard one, or the normal one, I should say, for, like, probably four or five tries. I tried various different methods, uh, both that I thought of and from looking it up as suggested. Found a lot of people being like, oh, I didn't realize anyone had trouble with this, as usual. Yeah, um, I mean, that's the thing. It, it was a, I mean, be fair, it was a mix. Some people were like, oh, I didn't realize it was hard. And some people were like, yeah, this was impossible, and I did it 80 times and couldn't figure it out. And there, were people, it there, were people, there were people that just gave up. They're like, I've tried it on very easy, and I couldn't even do it. That wasn't my problem. And the thing is, this wasn't like the, the Red Mage thing. that was like... They were like, well, I'm doing this as an astrologer, and I refuse to do it as anything else. It's like, well, okay. How do you, how do you know that? You weren't there. Because you I know. was there, yeah. um, and really? you told me. Yes. I swear this was just me and Josh. Nope, it was no. all of us. Huh. I'm always there. I'm sorry, yeah, my, my memory's really I'm bad, I guess. I'm always listening. I'm in the walls and the floorboards. But, well, anyway. Point is, yeah, I just switched to very easy. It, I, oh, yeah, it, it wasn't a gear thing, because, like, um... I think it was a gear thing. Well, because, um, there were these things around the edge that I needed to kill, but I could uh. not kill them fast enough. And, like, I wasn't taking a lot of damage. And I don't think, like, based on the gear that I have access to at this time, I don't think I would have been able to make enough of a difference to change those two hit kills to one hit kills. So, I don't know. If, if you guys, it's it's called Worthy of His Back. If you're familiar with that quest battle, please share your experience. I'm wondering what the fuck the deal was. I have Crypt Lurker's gear, so I know it's not the most up-to-date. It's actually, you know, a few levels out of date. But again, I don't think there's really, like, the difference I could get from, like, you know, four or five level difference of, uh, I guess for the item, it'll probably be closer to ten or so. I don't know. Anyway, whatever. So finally, we're like, I don't remember how we determined this uh, specifically, but, um, okay, so basically it turns out that Hermes created a whole bunch of Meteon, uh, because he wanted to send them out- a researcher who saw it. Okay, yeah. He- well, it's not that part, it's, uh, I'm wondering why we became suspicious that this was specifically likely to be, like, a cause of the final days, or related to it. Um. I don't remember. But anyway, but so- But I probably just thought, this is weird. Turns out he created a bunch of, uh, of these Meteor- and, um, or Matea, I think, and sent yeah, them out into Matea. space to basically fly to other alien planets and ask their inhabitants what their reason for living is. Um, and then Meteon started freaking out because she apparently received the report from her sisters and was like, no, it's too horrible to bear. I can't let any of you hear this. And, um, but then basically got overridden by, like, their shared consciousness program or something and started to detail 
like, she didn't get to her summary, she was just giving the data, she's like, world number one, everyone was dead. World number two, everyone was dead. Oh, world number three, everyone was dead. Um, world number five, there was one person left who was like... Okay, this the attack, the head that's glowing indicates what third of the arena is gonna be covered. That was just the front. If it's the left head, then it's, like, gotcha. behind him, kind of, like, that third right is the right behind him. And sometimes it'll be multiple at once, so... Okay. Um, like, now. Now it's the two-thirds behind them, so we want to get in front of them. Okay. So Mateo was like, Then I found a world with, uh... It was inhabited by, like, a god... Uh, that killed everyone else on the planet, and then himself. Uh, and then this other world I found... Um, These emit line AoEs in all directions, so just don't be in line with any of them. I, I don't know uh, what, that, what it means to be in line yeah, with. Yeah, I'm not... Okay, I see. Okay, it's a... Straight lines. Okay, so we, we got the, the uh, back left third, third? Yeah, back, back well, right third over here. Back yeah. right, sorry, that's what I meant. Um, anyway. Uh, yeah, and she's like, every, everywhere sucks, but, um... <laughs> Then I was like, uh, Hermes, oh, and uh, her and Emmett Selk were like, this seems like kind of a flawed question. You, you're assuming that they yeah. have a reason for living and that they idea. want to live. Um, and you didn't yeah. clear this with, like, anybody. This is just your pet project. Right. Um, and this then... But that bad idea. She's in the middle of giving her report, and, uh, Emmett Selk is like, okay, this is going too far and this seems probably dangerous, we should probably, like, shut this down. And Hermes is like, actually, no, I want to hear her report. Just because things might be shit, that doesn't mean that we need to ignore it. We need to face it head-on and left. figure it out. And we're like, that's a great sentiment, but also we we have very strong reason oh, to believe sorry. that this will end the world. Um, and he's like, uh, anyway, I'm gonna be over here. And he, <laughs> he takes Meteon and goes to, uh... He ran away. <clears throat> and he went here, which is, uh, a little like... Itch. This is a section of Elpis that is, like, a... I don't know what you'd call it. It's, like, a... It's where the most testing is done. Um, because they can, like, simulate a bunch of different environments here. Um, and do, like, proper, like, controlled testing, basically. Whereas oh, the rest of Elpis is just kind of a place. Oh, neat. Uh, you'll notice uh, in the video, I actually I'm already at 90 uh, because in the time since I've been able to last play, I uh, the last record. I mean, I've done a lot of the queues and uh, I'm almost at level 90 at all my like you know classes I've been using for this series. I am probably yeah, gonna pick up foggy. some more in the near future, but yeah. What the? That's fuck? basically it. it. We're we're foggy? going here to try to stop Hermes from uh, finishing Meteon's report, but uh, I mean, I think it's pretty obvious that it's probably a lost cause. Um, considering we were explicitly told that we can't change the past. Worry about that. You can't, but the people you're with can do the things that they always did. I always figured, no matter what we do here, the only thing we're going to be able to do is get information for the future. That's how the game seemed yeah. to present it to me. Was like, yeah, no, that, I mean, that's true. That's what we're here for. But helping the people in the past do the things that they did might be something that we had to do in order to... I don't know. Sure. Yeah, yeah. This is a lot of... He said, she said, bippity boppity bullshit. Seashells by the seashore. So yeah, I'm actually not going to get any experience out of this. I wonder if it will give me comedies, though. Probably not. Uh, this is not a level 90 dungeon. I do not think it rewards comedies. The treasure chest. <laughs> the treasure chest is full of treasure angles. I think I need to. Like, Definitely the treasure angle. Ooh. Ghosts. Yeah. Um. The, uh, I, I really like the whole, uh, the, you know, all these other civilizations are shit, and, uh, they're all dead, um, or having, like, really bad times. I like that shit, because we're, we're gonna find out more about that. I do know about some of it, but, um... I like the causes for several of them, it's really good. They did give some more details, I just don't remember all of them, um... I, it's weird that it what? already did. I thought it did that at the end of this dungeon. One of them was like, oh, by Maybe the way, I think, I think there's like a 17 minute, un like, 
also yeah. progressing cutscene at the end of this, so remind yeah, me before I exit well. the duty to turn on the screen share, because I'm not going to be able to do it for a while. Um, but yeah. Okay. Uh, they did say, like, one of them, everybody was frozen under a bunch of ice. Another one was, like, dry and barren. Another one had basically nuked itself. Um, another one they experienced, know which one like, that one is. There was one they mentioned uh, experienced, like, environmental degradation or something. I think I know which one that one is. Uh, based not on anything that was specifically said, but uh, on like context clues, I believe that uh, together the Mataya it investigated at least 100 civilizations. Hmm. We don't find out about 100, which is a damn shame, but we find out about quite a number of them. Wow, I can't believe the writers were. I'll, I'll just say straight up, I, I know already from like some other reading I did that one of the places they visited was the Dragon Star, and another one was the yep. place uh, full of the people that made Omega. Yep. Alpha because Tron. they were in a war. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> I would still think it would be interesting to go to the Dragon Star at some point. I know that there's nothing there. I mean, you anymore, kind but, of like... do. Oh, it's Hermage. Comes <laughs> Yeah, also, Hermes doesn't normally look like this, he just kind of randomly transforms himself for this. Yeah, this is, this is a, a faux pas. Yeah, this he decided, a... he's like, oh, well, I need to become a Final Fantasy monster. <laughs> yes. this, this is socially taboo, you can't just I assume, do this. I assume this is, like, a design from something already, because Anima was. This is probably, like, from some other Final Fantasy game. Yeah, I know that, like, the Asians and the stuff they're based on had like origins in FF Tactics or 12 or something. I want to say I feel like I would have remembered it from Tactics, but also I don't remember Tactics very well, so maybe not. I know okay, that the name's like Laha and lines. Griffin and stuff. Okay. Uh, so the middle is fine? Yeah. I didn't see how that was the case for the um, well, none of them were pointed at the middle. Um, so, uh, one last thing I should mention is that when Meteon first started to receive the, <laughs> uh, reports, there was this, uh... Uh, this is just getting the middle, I yeah. think. There was this, uh, scene that I've seen people sort of... Okay, make fun this of rock that's like not damaged is gonna be relevant. We're gonna have these lion AoEs going in order. We wanna use this rock for cover. Ah, okay. Oh, and I got right in the way of that one. Uh, I don't really know what happened, because the rock broke. Well, uh, anyway. yeah, I guess I guess you have to get away from it a little bit. I didn't realize it emitted its own little thing. Oh, just, just split these just out. don't overlap these, yep. yeah. Uh. And then move. Omega has an attack like that. That's funny. I'm uh, gonna you can interrupt, interrupt it. Yeah. I have not seen <laughs> such bravery. That's weird for a boss this late to have an interruptible attack. It's not really. I guess they, they probably should do it more often. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I feel like that should come up more often than it does. I'm just saying they don't. They don't. So <laughs> it's, uh, it's out of the ordinary. Oh yeah, but there's this scene that I apparently is like kind of like people make fun of for being okay. cringy or this something. Is where lines and in like, order again. So mind your positioning. Okay. Doing ourselves a little circle around the arena. Isn't that cute? Well, not a complete circle, I guess. This was like half a um, circle. A lot of people make fun of this scene because she starts being like, No, why do we hurt, hurt, hate, hate? And then just starts like leaking black fluid out of her eyes. Um, it, it was a little bit, you know, too edgy for me, but eh, it was okay. Piss my foes. Piss on the, my uh, foes! You know, the Mataya are uh, compelling as a whatever the fuck they are, but uh, the presentation is sometimes a little awkward. Mm -hmm. At first, I'm like, why the fuck is she voice acted so awkwardly? But that's that's like intentional because uh, they mentioned that. Because she, she communicates through emotions so much, she's not used to speaking with language. Yep. I'm like, okay, fine. 
Fair enough. Even when transformed, I am not finished yet. Uh, no, I think you're done, mate. Alright. Yep, dead. We don't even have to resolve this. You're a clown. <laughs> uh, I guess remember to screen share yep. Aroni. Before I leave. I will try for this. I don't really care about this. Oh, also we should clarify, Hermes is also the one that eventually became Fan Daniel. The, yeah, he's a little that. bitch. Always has been, always will be. Good. I came all the way to Elpis to join the posse, and I didn't even make it in time. <laughs> You'll be here when the cutscene ends. You stand outside Catesis Hyperborea. Unless the cutscene moves me somewhere else. Alright. Um, also, um... I didn't mention this, but I've had like some tech issues since the last video that we fixed uh, a little while ago, um, a couple weeks ago, a uh, week and a half ago. Um, uh, thanks to Joel, uh, it took up a Saturday though. But uh, it has resulted in it, basically my computer was fucking overheating and not getting rid of the heat even when it wasn't when, even when the computer was idling. We managed to fix that, but now the fans are really loud. I had to put in the RN noise filter, which previously, like, sucked. I had to use it on a few segments of, like, Sunshine, I think, and, like, some of the FF14 segments from Late Stormblood. But it, like, fucked with my voice and made it sound bad. But I, I tested it now, it seems better, but, yeah. Oh, the nomination they're talking about is for him becoming the new fan, Daniel. <clears throat> I am so sorry for that I could have listened to your report in full reflected upon its meaning and conveyed it to others that they might reconsider their chosen course it is very weird that Hermes is a scientist and he didn't think Hmm, yeah. maybe it's a bad idea weird. to give sentience and consciousness to the things I'm sent flinging out into space to look for aliens. Like, even if he didn't consider the possibility that they'd all be dead. Like, I don't know, there's all kinds of things that can go wrong with making something sentient that doesn't need to be. You know? <laughs> Why don't you just make some giving robots? it magic control over a type of magic that has only just been discovered and nobody understands. Yeah. That's the worst part, because I, I don't know if the game has even told you why that is such a problem. I mean, it's heavily kind of drawn the connection there. It's put the dots on the screen. A reason. We know people transform when they're feeling like shit, and we know that dynamis is to do with emotions, and we know that... Yeah. Oh, Vinay even said right something about... Vinay even said something like, if all places on the planet with low celestial ether concentration were affected at once, then that implies that the source of whatever caused it came from, from away from the planet. Yeah. Heard the final testaments of the dying. Welcomed their shadowed hearts into our own. I should also clarify that Mewtwo doesn't normally talk like this. This is like her as the combined robot or whatever. Look, she's becoming edgy. They renounced relationships to avoid interpersonal strife, and in so doing, brought about societal collapse. One race had renounced war, and devoted itself to the enrichment of its people. They were conquered. Though they destroyed the enemy in reprisal, they could not regain their former glory. You might know which one that one is. One race had concluded that finite time was the root of all woes. Aspiring to shatter its shackles, they went in search of infinity. Oh no, it's the anti-spirals. They discovered nothing is infinite, and that neither time or death can be cheated. I know it, I know exactly which one that one is. How are all of these represented in the final area? And themselves. Won't your ass find out. Huh. One race had discarded all things that gave rise to sorrow. Hoping to have only joy. Yeah, no, I know which one this one is. They found joy. Little bitches. In the absence of sorrow. And 
the lot of them. Is it just you go through all of these in one of the dungeons or something? No. That they had tried to fulfill their potential with every step and success. In the course of which, they learned the truth. That they would never be free of fear and sorrow, anger and despair, of loneliness, so long as they yet live. He's black now. <laughs> yeah. Even now, their souls cry out for oblivion. And to this song of anguish, I lend my voice. We lend our voice. Oh, beloved mankind, shimmering jewels of beautiful Atheris, rejoice. For we will free you from the cruel yoke of existence. There is no need to struggle in vain. For nihility awaits salvation. You will know peace and... The real problem with uh, Amara is that they had not progressed enough as a society to invent anime that already covered this topic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, uh, show yeah, Meteon, it, show Meteon Neon Genesis Evangelion, and instead of this whole speech, she'd just be like, This reminds me of my favorite anime. <laughs> this just is the motivation for every anime villain. Yeah. I will save the world by destroying it. God fucking damn it. There's only so many uh, ways you can make a villain, though. <laughs> no, there isn't. There are so many ways. They don't all need to be destroy the world. We don't always have to kill God, FF. <laughs> well, no, what I'm saying is, like, fundamentally, this is just a form of how do you make a villain make sense as well. They think that they're doing the right thing. They think that they're helping people. And well, yeah, you can, but you, you can, can reduce lines, anything to not... Well, I, th I think you're doing the reduction here, because you're like, well, all of these are basically just they think they're helping, like... It's all you're the no, one that's saying it's all the same. <laughs> I'm not saying all villains have to do this, I'm just saying these ones do. You're the one who's saying, like, well, all villains are just this at some point. Like, no, you know, there's, there's a nuance there. To destroy us all, yet you still take her side? Okay, what, what, what I'm actually saying is that any villain that thinks that they are, we have discarded those creations that uh. Doing good by doing what they're doing if we is included in this category, and that's a wide variety of things. Not it's not just Final Fantasy, it's not just anime or Japan. That we too should be it's common in those, but... That is well, that's that's my know. point. It's very common in those. That's, that's what I'm saying. Perhaps it is. Perhaps but I'm saying fundamentally, all you can really have is the villain knows that they're evil and they're kind of, you know... Reveling in it, they're card carrying. They're like, "Yeah, I'm evil. I'm mm. fucked up. I'm doing what I want." Is, or uh, they think that they're you're recording, okay? okay. Why? Um, because you are very roboty, and the stream is basically dead. That's very strange. Um, it looks fine on OBS and the levels and stuff. Okay, it might just be a connection problem. Um, so I didn't really hear much of anything that you said. Oh. You're fine now for some reason. Yeah. Um, I'm just saying, either a villain thinks that they're doing good, or they know that they're evil and they revel in it. I don't think it's just that those two categories. Broadly. If not, he will perish from the start. As with all determinations, provisions must be made to ensure fairness. Kairos! Awaken! What do you mean? What do you mean fairness? You literally just like, you guys don't get to decide. I get to decide. Memory reconfiguration system Kairos activated. Awaiting instruction. Oh Come good. On. Universal memory alteration. Target area. Catesis hyperborea. Starting point. 
arrival of Emmett Selk, of the convocation at Proper Lion. Then point. The present. Raise the memories of all events, and replace with a vague recollection of the following. I was here, preparing to demonstrate the functionality of Kairos to Emmett Selk and Hithidaeus. Meteon's shared consciousness became unstable. She and her sisters could not sustain their existence. I also question how the fuck this was set up in the first place in such a way that one guy, even if he runs the facility, can even just be like, yeah, I'm using the memory uh, thing on Man. two of my superiors and uh, these random two Man. other people. Let me tell you something. In the end of Shadowbringers, Emma Selk was like, man, our society was perfect. We never had problems. Everything ran smoothly all the time. Wait until you get to the fucking normal raids! You think this is bad? They fucked up twice! Everything that you told us. Everything that has happened. But Hitler, this, you remember us, though. It will all be gone. You remember us later, what are you talking about? Yeah, he didn't erase a, the memory of us being here. Go, me too. Oh. Just the specific details of what happened. Oh, you can't see the screen check, can you? No, I can't. No. Oh, okay. Because Hitler has just said, even the fact that we have met will be erased. Won't you come with me? Oh. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, no, that's right. Well, for some of them. Yeah, that's true. I will remain. As a man, I will yeah, because then I think like you can't actually interact with them again. I think, <laughs> which is funny. See, had you said yes, I would have granted you the gentlest <laughs> aid. This ends here. No, it doesn't. I just realized these uh, voice actors are British, so <laughs> whenever she says Argos, she's probably thinking of the same shot that I am. As if we needed more pressure. This thing sure does take its time, doesn't it? Yeah. No matter what, you cannot forget what happened today. For it is the key to saving your future. Yeah, let me just use return real quick. <laughs> yeah, you should be able to. This fight <laughs> is our fight. What comes after our problem to contend with? Hey, Hithlodeus, instead of sitting here repeating what you just said, we could be helping. Your own struggle awaits. And no one else can take your place. You must leave this place with your memories in. And I will see that you do. Now then, where is it? Over there. There you are, my little confluence. Also, it's implied that we may have had a hand in this by like, there was a part where Meteon was like, you've been sad before too, we should show Hermes. And then she like, we, we, we went to like St. Elpis Flowers and then we thought about some sad times and then they turned black and Hermes was like, oh, you've also been sad before. And then like, it, <laughs> it was sort of implied that that was the catalyst for him being like, we shouldn't turn away, we shouldn't try to hide or pretend we've never been sad. We should, we should embrace it. <laughs> but like, it's fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that, it could be, but I, I feel like the situation here is just you know, Medeon's fucked up. We had nothing to do with that. I mean, at this point, this isn't even Meteon as, like, a free-thinking, you know, independent agent. Like, she's following, you know, some malformed 
notion of a, a protocol here that was defined and created by Hermes very poorly, so... <laughs> yeah. I can't really blame me too as a person. Oh no, I don't blame her as a person. She didn't know what she was getting into. This is Hermes' fault. Yeah. I'm just saying, you know, the trigger for this shit was Medion being like, okay, here's my report. Shit sucks, fuck you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And we had nothing to do with that. That happened before we got here. <sighs> or that was set in stone before we got here. I cannot tell you how sorry I am. We well, the future you told us you didn't give a shit, so I don't know that means much. I, I, am, I, am I dumb here? I don't understand his game. Like, why... No, you're not dumb. Hermes is dumb. <laughs> he he literally is like, uh, Meteon, I, I, because I'm a human being, I'm, I'm going to fight you, but also I need this to be fair by stopping other people from knowing about it. Yeah, what, it, huh? it makes Why? sense. Why? What, what, literally what reason? He's a little bitch. Always has been. Don't, but what don't is the logic know. supposed to be? What were they going for? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe something got lost in translation. Hmm. Anybody can explain that what? to me, please do. But how? I thought the confluence was over. Over there? Yes. We were rather hoping we would. It was never anywhere but where it is now. The instant those two began making their way towards nothing, it was clear the plan was a diversion. I'm quite incapable of destroying a confluence, I must confess. A gambit brazen beyond words. Though we've grown accustomed to reckless improvision due to the antics of an incorrigible associate. Improvisation. Improvision is not a word, I'm no. pretty sure. In the case of certain present companies, Let's find out. incorrigible is an understatement. Honestly. I'm beginning to suspect it's a requirement. We find at least two sources. Uh, it is a word. Hmm. Is it the same thing as improvisation? Even now, um, I do not believe your tale. I would not suffer us to walk such a wretched path. Let me get back to you on Still, that. If it must be said. Yes. It's literally defined as improvisation. They mean the same thing. The legacy I leave you. I'll remember that you lived. Final process complete. Executing universal memory alteration. So, hang on, Vanar went with us. Is this supposed to be... Is this supposed to be an explanation? Because they were they were also saying something, like, Vanar was saying something about, like, I'm confused, why would I oppose the 14 about this? Like, I, I actually agree with the with this hypothetical plan to make Zodiac to preserve the star. Um, is this supposed to be something where, like, because she's the only one that remembers this other than me, that that's going to influence it? Yeah. Okay. Yep, she remembers it, and then some people believe her, and some people don't, and then that's a problem. Just a little tired. <clears throat> it also explains why, you know, future Emmett Selk didn't really recognize you. Yeah. But Hitler Day is dead for some reason. In life? Uh, yep. There is a reason for that. Okay. Doesn't really matter, but it's there. Okay. And yet, I feel her. Though she is unimaginably distant, I feel Meteon's presence and the place where to we must go. Where to for? 
Hands to four of good her escape. I placed an enchantment upon her. One which allows us to follow her trail. I'm not buying your fancy words, Vanaz. It's a GPS tracker. <laughs> I know what it that is. On her way. Given the vastness of the universe, it will still be no easy feat to track her down. But thanks to Emmet Selk and his Ladeus, all is not lost. We remember. So long as we remember, our fates remain ours to shape. What indeed. Let us begin by ascertaining the situation at Catesis Hyperborea, where the others should still be. Given the likely state of their memories, however, it would be imprudent for us to approach them directly. In which case... <clears throat> Go I'm sorry, my friend. I've asked much of you this day. But may I trouble you one last time? <laughs> Argos will investigate in our stead. We will share in his consciousness and see oh, will we? as if we were with him. Okay. He says now, so. close your eyes. And then Argos is like, no, it's too horrible for you to <laughs> God see. damn it. Is nobody gonna address the big fuck off? <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking. There is a gaping hole in my memories. I can scarcely remember arriving here in Alpus. Forgive me. I was preparing to demonstrate the functionality of Kairos to our guests. But Meteon. Her shared consciousness became unstable. And she. She. So, that's what prompted the state of alert. And when you went to investigate, you were caught in Kairos' accidental operation. You know, it's funny, also, we uh, if we had told literally even one person before we went in there what was going on, just a basic summary, yeah. like, <laughs> this wouldn't work. Right. Uh, so dang. It's if it's only we'd had the forethought. Mm. Such an unfortunate accident. Oh, and what of Vina and your other companion? You went inside together, as I recall. We did? If Vina was with us, I have no recollection of it. But that there is her familiar, is it not? The fellow seems happy enough, so... I think it's safe to assume his... Is that, is that the emotion we call that? <laughs> that looks like staring off into the void to me. <clears throat> I haven't the slightest notion who this other companion might be, however. Uh, it's your uh, mom got him. Well, that individual struck <laughs> me as a bit different, for want of a better word. Perhaps it wasn't actually a person, but some manner of creation. Curious. I must ask Vinar about it when next we meet. Yes, yes. Yeah, something tells me that's not going to go well. may tend to Hermes. <laughs> Whatever this Meteon did, okay. it seems he bore the brunt of it. Once you are fit to travel, you will return with us to Amarot. We need to make certain there are no other ill effects. Also, I am here on business of the 14. We've already had the conversation, like as not. But since your toy wiped my memory, we'll have to have it again. Yes, of course. As you see fit. Hermes, why are you gyrating? What is this? I feel like Hippodeus and MSL should be smart enough to realize that there's foul play going on here from Hermes, but I don't know. Yeah, probably. 
There is a theory which holds that memories scoured by blast or at least suspect it. Oh, we have talked about this. The soul is cleansed in the underworld. If true, then perhaps when our time comes to return to the star, that's yeah, it. Then the it's just these that's it. We have lost the uh, the Hithlidaeus you saw. He's dead. I right, true. He remembers. Look forward to the That's bizarre, though, because it was also just an, a fake thing made by Emmett Selk, so somehow it also carried the real one's memories from the underworld, like, from the yeah, or whatever. Alright. You have to ask him, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the Hippodeus in Amarok is still there, right? <laughs> Yeah, it's still there. You can go talk to it, but uh, you know that was made in Shadowbringers. I don't know if he's getting. Well, sometimes they update dialogue. Oh, you can try. I actually don't remember if I tried doing that. I might have. Oh, we still have a long, long way to go. Yeah. Yep, and you have to fail seven times. Or something. I feel like they didn't need Hermes to be uh, malicious here for this to work. I feel like it could have just been that he you know, was an idiot and was like, I want to listen to Meteor's report. It doesn't go well. Everyone gets fucked up. Like, I don't think Hermes needed to... Th that part is just confusing to me and I don't really understand the point of it. Um, I whatever. don't really know either, other than it's... Maybe it's meant to be consistent with the future iterations of himself, where he just is always this messed up, hard to understand individual. <laughs> I guess. Alright, what do you have to say? You know, in all three of his uh, appearances, he was, like, some sort of outcast amongst whatever group he was in, so. Mm. Like, I guess. Maybe this is why. Can't leave well enough alone. And, uh, now you I will be able to play. What do you mean I can't use? Well, because, you know, well, when you get that, you know we're done here. <laughs> Yeah, well, like, we're gonna be leaving Elpis soon. Oh, oh, wait, make sure to change classes. Gotta get that experience. Oh, thank you. Oh, that's true. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, your gear. What? Oh, it's yeah, broken. Fine. <laughs> it's not fine. Eleven people are dead. <laughs> and Frank Stallone is You're walking missing. around. <laughs> you know, fucking scraps of your clothing are all that's left. <laughs> that's fine. Look up. Yeah, I'm, I was a white mage, so look up. Um. A certain uh, magical index uh, <laughs> habit destruction. Something about whatever. a railgun. That's the that's the spinoff series. Um, let's see the the conic horns. Catonic, maybe. Unlike the colleagues, and they seek to manifest new creations without the aid of creation magics. Natural breeding program. Oh, they have a bestial sex here. I see. No, it's just fine. These people right. are weird. Hmm. Anybody home? Yes. No. I mean, there's a building here. And two apples. So, I, I may have pointed this out before. And In fact, I think I remember doing it in Heaven's Word. But when you get the ability to fly, and you fly off, and there's just some weird isolated it's, area it's like this. It's gathering, I know. Yeah, sometimes. This one probably is because of its shape. Sometimes it's for a special fate, but this one probably yeah. gathering. Right. Well, uh, anyway, I suppose that is that. Thank you for watching, and next time will be, I believe, the Mother Crystal followed by the Asia Scope. Uh, and then only one more video of uh, 6.0 after that, which will be the Dead Ends followed by the Final Days. I think it's the name the, of the uh, The Asia Scope may be the only dungeon I've only ever done once. Hmm. Yeah, well, it sounds like pretty soon you'll get to the actual game. <laughs> By which I mean the grind. Yep. Yeah, it's coming. Only, well, she's uh, got the 13th, 13th to deal with. Only 43 days, 6 hours, and 36 minutes in. Um, <laughs> see you then. Jesus. Goodbye.